My name's Greg Nicol. I'm owner and manager of Total Ag Services Dhirumbandi, uh, which has been in operation for eight years. I've been in the Dhirumbandi community for 18 years. Yeah, I guess the Dhirumbandi community is under strain already from the water buybacks that have already taken place. And if the plan is indeed to take the same amount or if not even more water again out of the community, I'm not sure Deer and Bandy would be anything other than a ghost town. I think they've been listening but they haven't been hearing. They certainly, uh, and if they have, they're still keeping it very secretive as to what they're doing. We're still on tender hooks, still don't know the answers. The uncertainty over the last three to four years is, um, yeah, tearing at the absolute fabric of our community. But as long as they understand the implications, and one of the big things I truly believe in, in the whole thing is that the community of Dhirumbandi and other small um, towns along the river are part of the environment as well. We are, community is environment. It's, it, we have to be as important as the environment. My argument is that um, if we're already doing it well, the MDBA has to look at what they've done and the federal water holder at the moment is just buying water and with no rangeland management, no monitoring of the environmental outcomes. In fact, some of these floodplains that will now get um, flooded supposedly more often uh, have no exclusion fencing. So you have evasive weeds, goats, dogs, cats, rats and elephants, I suppose. Um, yeah, uh, so the environmental gains are, are minimal. We can do more with less water. Let's use mechanical fixes. Let's put storages close to environmental sensitive areas and use that water when, it, when we can. In the big floods, this river can be 26 kilometres wide. We can fill a storage and then a year later put the water where it needs to be. We can be smarter. We're asking our farmers to be smarter with healthy headwaters, projects, the MDBA and the federal water holder has to be smarter with their, their body of water as well. The numbers of children at the Dhirumbandi school have never fallen below 90 children. In 2016, there is 61 children at the school. From that, we start to lose services. Once we lose community, we start to lose doctors, we start to lose fireys, we start to lose ambulances. And then when we don't have those services, we can't attract the right amount of people or the right people to our community.